Hey, hey, this is Kwabi, Life Coach for Women in their 50s through 99. Welcome to another episode. All right, so today we're going to be talking about that skill you need in order to find your purpose. And we're also going to talk a little bit about how to find your purpose. So one of the things I have been doing lately is I'm doing a lot of research. I am coming up with another book. So I'm really excited about gathering information about my new book. And yes, it's about aging for sure. One of the things I found out was through my research is that you can increase your years on this earth if you focus on your purpose. And so they did this study where they found out that women that focus on their purpose lived six to seven years longer than longer than those that didn't. I'm like, sign me up, people. I'm on that. Like, seriously, wouldn't you want to live more years doing something you love? Like, why not? And because these women are focused on doing things that they love, it energizes them. They live longer lives. I'm like, that I love. One of the things I have come to find out as I'm helping my clients achieve their goals and finding their purpose and, you know, living out their dreams, one of the main reasons why they don't go after their dreams, their goals, their purpose is because they lack courage. And interestingly enough, courage is something you gain by doing. You can't just say, okay, I'm just going to get it. No, you have to take that step. You have to take action. And most women are scared to take action. They're fearful. They're like, oh, what if it doesn't work? They have all these ideas in their brain. They go into their head. That's what ends up happening. You, when you go into your head, you do nothing because your brain is going to come up with so many reasons why you shouldn't do that. Your brain is, but this is a thing though. That is what your brain is supposed to do. Your brain is trying to protect you. That is what your brain is supposed to do. One of the things I'm helping my clients do is I'm helping them take those baby steps towards their goal. But most importantly, I'm helping them gain the, the skill of confidence. And why, and you're probably wondering, well, you just talked about courage. What's confidence got to do with it? This is the thing. When you start doing something repeatedly, you gain confidence. It's just how it works. And so when you gain the skill of confidence, guess what you end up doing? Yep, you get courage. And then you go out and do that big thing that you want to do. Yeah, that's how it works. And so what I've noticed for a lot of my clients, they start off doing all these little things here and there. And all of a sudden, they're tackling bigger and bigger things because their courage is increasing and they're going after a lot of things. And it's beautiful to see women who, you know, when they first come to me, they're like, oh, Kwavi, I really want to do this, but I'm not sure I can. And you can see that they want to do it, but they're, they're scared. They don't have the confidence. And then when you see them taking action, even when they're scared and we're doing the work and we're, we're coaching every week and I'm, you know, they're sharing the, the, the obstacles that are, they're coming up against and we're walking, we're, you know, working through all of that and see who they're becoming in the process. It's a delight to see. I'm serious. It's so delightful because you see women who were like, oh, I'm not sure all of a sudden. Just the way they show up, their faces like light up the way they walk. It's like when I see them on the Zoom calls, I'm like, whoa, what's going on? It's like you can see the difference. It's like beautiful to see. And one of the things, reasons I love about this work that I'm doing is when women like that start to show up for themselves, everyone in their circle benefits. That's a beautiful thing. And so you're doing this work and you're thinking, okay, it's for my benefit. I want to, you know, pursue my passion, my purpose. But guess what ends up happening? You end up impacting everyone in your circle, which is a beautiful thing. It's, I mean, it's delightful to watch the impact of a woman showing up for herself and the impact on the people all around her. And that's why Ah, uh, if you're listening to this and you're still trying to figure out your purpose, and you're not sure what it is, give me, send me an email, DM me, get in touch with me. I want to help you. You deserve to be living out your purpose. Like really, like why not? That is true living. 
when you're not living out your purpose, you're just kind of sleepwalking through life. I like to say you're sleepwalking through life. You deserve to be living your life out fully in color. A lot of you are living your life in black and white and on the edge. Like, no, I want you to be in it. And some of you are like, oh, but what if it doesn't work out? What if it does? Like, really, I want you to think about that. And this is not about it not working out, it working out. You doing the work, you're going to get benefit. That's the thing. You can't lose by trying. You can't. That's the thing. Our brain wants to tell us, oh, no, if it doesn't work out this way. No, you will always win by doing. You, As long as you're doing something new, it's a benefit to you. You don't lose by doing something new. No. And so if you're listening to this, and you're like, oh, I've been thinking, this is your sign. Like, send me a message. Contact me. Let's do this work together. What are you waiting for? What you want to do in the world is important. Your dream, your goal matters. One of the ways in which I help my clients rediscover their purpose and passion is through a Japanese ancient uh, principle called Igai. And it's, I love the whole principle behind it. And the beautiful thing about this principle is it is even more meaningful as you get older. It's like, let's do this. What you, you already have a lot of wisdom and experience already. And so being able to tap in to your purpose using this principle is amazing. And so I've written some notes. And you know, this is the thing. Ikai is a Japanese concept that represents the intersection of your passion, your mission, your vocation, and profession, leading to a sense of purpose and fulfillment. What better time to do it than now? Like, you know what you're good at. You know what you've been doing for years. You know who you are. This is the best time to discover that. Like, really, it's like, what is your passion? What is it that you love and enjoy doing? You know what that is? Let's figure that out. Like, we start with that. What is, what do you think is your, like, mission? What is it that you think the world needs more of that you can provide? We put that down. And then we start to talk about, you know, your profession. What do you have skills and expertise in? Maybe not something you particularly like, but something that you have skills and expertise in. And you put that all together. Like, when you start to see that, and then we start to map it out and see where there's an overlap, that's how we find your purpose. It's such, I love working with my clients. We go more in depth. I love working with them, you know, with each section going in depth to really find out what it is. And we work on it in a way where it's like, this is not about your parents, what your parents wanted for you, what your spouse wants for you, what your kids want for you. This is only about what you truly want. It's a beautiful thing to see when women really like allow themselves to go to a place where they focus solely on themselves. I love it. It's, it's like, it's like you see that when they start to do this, like, it's almost like they have their eyes just light up. And you can tell they're really doing what they're meant to do in the world. And I just want more women to have access to that because I think it's so important. It really is. And I know some of you are thinking, oh, but can I do this? My age, listen, this is the best time to do it. And this will help you. This will help enhance your life in so many different ways. Let me give you some examples. I wrote down some names of some women who discovered their purpose later on in life. First one I want to talk about is, is um iris apfel she was she's um like uh she's an influencer fashion icon i don't know if you know she wears this signature glasses she turned 102 two days ago 102 years old do you know that she became a visiting professor at ut austin at the age of 90 nine zero and she was signed to IMG, a modeling agency, at the age of 97. Okay. I mean, think about that. At the age of 90 and 97. So I don't know what age you are, but I'm sure you're not 90 and I'm sure you're not 97. And even if you are, this is a, this is a sign to go for it, right? The other woman I want to share is Betty Reed Soskin. And I interviewed her on my YouTube channel a few months ago. And Betty Reed became a park ranger at the age of 85. Eight, z eight five. And this is, the, this is the interesting thing about this. Most park rangers retire at the age of 65. 
65, and she started her career as a park ranger 20 years after park rangers retired. Like, what is it that you want to do? Like, this is your sign to go after your purpose, your passion. Like, why not? Think about, think about before your purpose and after your purpose, like different life. Like you're going to be waking up excited about your life. Like seriously. Another one I want to share is Laura Ingalls Wilder. And she was the author of The Little House on the Prairie. I'm sure some of you can remember that. Remember the series, Little House on the Prairie? She began writing her books in her 60s. Six zero people, six zero. Her writing career brought brought her a lot of uh, personal fulfillment, fulfillment and literary success. She started in her 60s. Like, okay. Give you another example. Recent example, Diana Nyad, long distance swimmer. She achieved international recognition when at the age of 64, she became the first person to swim from Cuba to Florida without a shark cage. Think about that. Now, you're probably listening, I don't want to do that. That's fine. But guess what? What is it that you truly want to do? This was her passion. And I remember reading about her. She failed a number of times, but she persevered. And so that, so this is the other thing. It might not happen on the first try for you, one of you, but this is the thing, you keep on trying. And the beautiful thing is by doing, you're also getting benefit from that. Like really, you are getting benefit. First of all, your brain is creating new neural pathways when you do anything new, period. And so you're getting that, you're getting the added benefit of that. And then when you actually achieve it, think about who you become. Like really, like I want more women live their purpose. There are so many of us not doing that. And I think it changes who we are and the world too will be so different if more of us showed up for ourselves rather than kind of shrinking back and leaning into this negative narrative that we no longer matter because we do. We have a lot to offer society. And I know as you're listening to this, you know that. And I want more women to show up and start to live their purpose fully, like in bold in color. <laughs> All right. Next person I'm going to talk about is Anna Marie, uh, Anna Mary Robertson Moses, commonly called Grandma Moses. She began her career as a folk artist in her 70s. Seven zero people. She started painting scenes of rural life and lands- landscapes that she loved and her art gained popularity. She started in her 70s. Like, And these are just a few examples. There are so many others. Those are just a few examples. So what are you waiting for? Let me help you. What I do as a coach is I help women in their 50s, 60s, 70s and beyond achieve their dream, whether it's a childhood dream, an adult dream, a dream that they've had for so long, a dream that they've had over the years. It pops up and they push it down and they suppress it, but it keeps coming up. There's a reason why it keeps coming up. It's coming up because you're meant to birth that idea out into the world. Don't let your dreams die inside of you. That's a common thing. I don't want you to be one of those. I want you to be one of those women that's like, check, I did it, check, check. Exactly. Imagine how you feel. Imagine the people around you, your loved ones, the impact when you start to live your life on purpose, like living your purpose. So, all right. So I just wanted to share this with you. I hope this resonates with you. And listen, you have a choice. You either do the purpose on your own or you do with me. What are you going to (laughs) do? All right. I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to leave the information in case you need to contact me. I'm going to put that in the the notes and the details so you can click on that. And thank you so much for listening. And I look forward to seeing you next week. All right. Take care. Bye.